Oh, hi there. It's Nate from the 8020 Drummer, and today I'm going to bring you, and I'm pretty sure I'm plagiarizing this name, Six Slick Stick Click Licks. And last year I know I brought you some Kendrick Scott, Marcus Gilmore, Cross Stick Licks, but now today we're doing, what do you even call these? I mean, that's a cross stick. That's a cross stick. T Proof that drums needs a new vocabulary, a new nomenclature. But anyway, this is going to be the first of the lessons I'm recording, one a day, so that you'll continue to get lessons while I'm away in Asia, probably with greater regularity than you were while I was here. So let's begin. We're going to start with a triplet groove, and this is kind of like a bembe. If you want to think about it with a clave, you can just think of it like... And the basic groove that I'm going to play for this is this. Two, three, four. And we're going to call that variation one, but I'm going to give you a little tom thing you can do on the floor tom. And we'll call that variation 1A. So three, four. And let's do that two phrases of six and one phrase of four that I like to call hemiola. So let's throw that in. Two, three, four. Okay, so for stick click number two, we're just going to do and that's going to be our basic component. You've seen this sticking left, right, right, left in a lot of other places. It's, it's a very common Marcus Gilmore thing. He likes to accent that last... Uh, yeah, he likes to accent the, the last left to do a rim shot, but... So if our basic beat is... So variation two will be three, four. Let me just uh, improvise a couple of variations of that. Three, four. So you can also do that over four instead of 12-8. So over a 16th note bass. So if you're doing a groove like two, eh, let's actually just move on. Let's call that, let's call the following stick click lick number three. So this is a 16th note variation that I like to do. So two, three, four. And that's clave-less right now. You could do that on both sides, but let's add a variation. We'll make this variation 3A. So three, four. And by definition, because you're emphasizing the one, two, three, four so hard uh, on the second side, that's probably gonna be more like a three, two type of vibe. So what if I wanted to do it with the toms in the second bar, but have that, the toms be on the three side of the clave? So pretend we're starting in a different beat of the phrase, uh, you clave purist. Two, three, four. And in real life, you'd probably improvise with that a little bit more. I mean, we've all seen Antonio Sanchez.
etc. So for variation four, we're going to incorporate that left, right, right, left lick again. Let's do it really slowly. Two, three, four. So if you want to incorporate that on one side as a variation to this original. So another variation you can do with that, and let's call this variation 4B, is So if you incorporate that into the whole groove, it'll be three, four. So for variation five, let's do this. Three, four. So let me slow that down for you. Three, four. So that's going to sound killing in a lot of contexts, but especially if you're doing kind of a fast mambo type thing. A good variation of this one is also three, four. And finally, you can do a variation that looks like this. So three, four. So let's call that variation five. For variation six, it would behoove us to do something with the rim shot with the hand on the drum. This is, the, you know, everybody from Art Blakey to Billy Kilson uses this to great effect. Eric Harland. Bernard Purdy, T tell me when to stop. Stop me! So let's give you a basic one for this, which again would be a similar, again would be a similar sticking to what we were doing before, but let's just do three, four. So, you can do some variations of this. You can do the hemiola thing. So three, four. I'm using the, the feet kind of interchangeably. This is something, maybe it comes from this exercise that Riley taught me, where you just sort of think of the, the feet as equal voices dividing. It's, it's something you see more in, in these kind of faux Latinish feels, I guess. Uh, I don't know, a lot of us coming up in the early 2000s listened to a bunch of Antonio Sanchez and uh, Henry Cole, so I think that's part of where it comes from. And let's see if we can incorporate our left, right, right, left, the, the classic Blakey, Marcus Gilmore, lick into that somewhere. So three, four. Let's go ahead and call that good. So guys, this completes lesson number one of the Nates in Asia series. One more time, dates are Japan, the 29th of September through the 10th of October, Bangkok, Thailand, 
the 10th through the 17th and Hong Kong the 17th through like the 21st or 22nd. So definitely hit me up, holler if you're going to be there. Dudes, one more time, want to shout out my coaching course, which is now in year two and we've been continually, continually making innovations to it. Uh, the next time it's going to launch is going to be in November. But if you want to get on the wait list for the coaching course, which, by the way, is like, say you wanted to study with me and you wanted me to videotape all the lessons and transcribe everything for you in HD and then, by the way, put everything into like a curriculum that's organized for you exercise by exercise. That's what the course is. But instead of paying me week after week after week for lessons, you pay around the price of two lessons with me and it's like six months worth the study. Okay, I can't shut up about this course, but if you want to get on the wait list for the course, you can click right here on the screen and as part of joining that list, you'll get my three free video series. Three videos, they cover jazz, they cover improvisation, they cover the problems with the way a lot of stuff is taught. If they're not like the three most revolutionary mind-expanding videos you've ever seen, actually that's a tall claim. Like, you guys watch Tony Robbins? I don't know if I can compete with that. But okay, for drums, let's say for drums, the three most revolutionary mind-expanding videos for... <sighs> You, you know when it's just going downhill. You know when it's going off the rails. No, in all seriousness, guys, my three free video series. Get it? Because you want to be good at drums. I want you to be good at drums. Be back tomorrow, although for you next week, with another lesson of the week. <whistles>